So the iPhone 14 has been out for a few weeks now. I think it's almost going to be a month and like next week. But the crazy thing is, is that there are already so many used iPhone 14s available in the used market that I would probably recommend people to be a little weary every once in a while. So every year I make this video. First of all, there have been so many reports stating that the iPhone 14 used prices have actually gone down significantly more than the iPhone 13 prices. So if we go and zoom in, basically what's going on is the iPhone 13 ended up, you know, decreasing in value not as much or, you know, the iPhone 14 ended up, you know, decreasing in value much more substantially than the iPhone 13. So that is in and of itself pretty crazy. So they basically stay here. And throughout this article that the iPhone 14 is experiencing a lot more depreciation and, and that mostly in my opinion has to do with the fact that the iPhone 14 it wasn't really that big of an upgrade from the iPhone 13 and most people kind of see it if you own something like an iPhone 13 any of the iPhone 13s those are probably going to hold their value better in terms of percentage wise than the iPhone 14. The 13s are still going to be sold for less money but the iPhone 14s are probably not going to be sold for that much far off. The 14 Pros are a little bit of a different story and that is more evident when we make our way over to eBay. So if we go and make our way over to eBay, I've already seen a lot of different iPhone 14s available all over the place. So I literally just searched up iPhone 14 and kind of sifted through all of them. Now you will see some like this. So the iPhone 14s that are available for the same price for $800, the only thing you are getting and this is what kind of freaks me out is, is that is that it does say it's refurbished. So those things kind of weird me out. I would probably recommend avoiding refurbished iPhone 14s right now. If it's about like two months within their life cycle, there's really no point in getting a refurbished one because you can just buy a brand new one, especially if it's the exact same price. That might have been a typo from the seller, but you also want to make sure that any seller you're trying to buy an iPhone 14 from, in this case here we have an iPhone 14 Pro, this is a great example. It says unclean IMEI. So even though the price tag looks great, the unclean IMEI or bad IMEI or bad ESN, those things you want to avoid because that means these phones cannot be activated. So anything that says like that, especially if it says it's financed or anything along those lines, you might want to make sure that that full balance of that phone has been paid off because that can also cause some issues. So we're seeing a lot of iPhone 14s for $799. Now here's an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which again has another issue. So you can see right here, now this one is only from Spectrum, so that's not a crazy bad deal, but it is one of those things that you probably won't be able to get it unlocked. It looks like they only got it for Spectrum, or maybe they got it but basically you want to avoid any scams, you want to avoid any like problems, especially if you find iPhone 14s that may have cracks in them or anything, you might just want to go ahead and just buy another iPhone 14 from a different person, even if this, you know, even if the, you know, specific phone looks like in great quality otherwise, because we are so close to the iPhone 14's official release that people can go and have just like returned that iPhone or just, you know, got it fixed and, you know, went from there. So those are pretty much the main things I would recommend avoiding. If you can wait out maybe like a few more weeks or months to buy a used iPhone 14, that might be the better thing to do. But that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Till then.